welcome to a night of total terror. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. You must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotion. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all time. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. First came the night, then came the dawn. Now comes the most eagerly awaited day in horror film history. Welcome back to Thursday of the Dead, episode 177. My name is Chase. Today's episode is a recap of my screening last week of Dr. Butcher, MD. Hi. So last night, went to the Tower Theater again to go see um, Dr. Butcher, MD, put on by Music and Monsters. I'm loving going to these monthly old horror movies. Um, I gotta say, uh, the look on my face right now is about... The look I had almost the whole time of the movie. It was a bit of a... uh, I got a barf bag when walking in, which I didn't need. But I could see when people, when they first went and saw it, why they would need it. It was... um, I could look at a lot of stuff. I watched a lot of creepy shit. A lot of gross stuff. And I I looked away a couple times. I just was, oh, I don't... This is going to ruin my snacks. Good thing I wasn't eating any sausages or anything. But uh, it was cool. Still, had never seen it. Had never heard of it. And now I can say I've seen Dr. Butcher MD. Oh, God, it was weird. That was the weirdest one by far. I can't wait till next month where we're going to see children shouldn't play with dead things. I wonder if it's going to be as gross hope not. Congratulations to Adrian, who won the VIP prize. Uh, This was his second prize in a row. Alan, take this body. Yeah, and welcome to it. You deserve everything you're getting. (laughs) There's no business like show business like... And I think, in time, we may get even closer. I'm going to take your scraps and feed them to my dog. Well, that's all right. Just keep a stiff upper lip. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. They had such a wonderful time. They laughed and laughed and laughed. That is, until Orville's friends dropped in. Then they screamed and screamed. had such a lovely time. It's too bad nobody ever told them children shouldn't play with dead things.